Hi everyone, in this video I'm gonna talk about what is the major difference between ODS and PDS, ordinary differential equations and partial differential equations. So, before I start the lesson, I like to say that I really appreciate it if you have any other recommendations or any questions about this topic or related subject, please comment them down below. And if you like my video, please click the like button and share my video with your friends. And also subscribe my channel, Massix channel on the YouTube. Okay, that's all. Let's move on. First of all, I like to talk about the definition of differential equation. Okay, what does it mean? The differential equation is an equation that involves the unknown function and its derivatives. Or, in other words, an equation with derivative of a function in it. For example, we can show on the screen this simple example y prime equals f of t. And the solution of this equation, of this problem, is infinite integral of f of t, like this. And there, f of t is entire derivative of f of t, and c is there, um, the arbitrary constant. And also, we call this equation the general solution of this problem, of this equation, of this differential equation, I mean. And the, another most important thing you need to know about the differential equations is order. And what is order of differential equation? The order of differential equation is the highest order of derivative that present into the equation. For example, by prime plus y over 5 equals t squared times e to the minus t. And there we can show that the highest order there, the 1. And that's why we call this equation the first order ordinary differential equation. The another one like this, the same way we call this equation the first order ordinary differential equation. Differential equations divided by two different worlds. ODS and PDS, ordinary differential equations and partial differential equations. Okay, here is the formal difference in ODS. All of them noun function are function of one independent variable only. We usually think of that variable as time. So all of our noun function, we are is one or many. Actually, it doesn't really matter. In other words. ODS, ordinary differential equations, involves ordinary derivatives with respect to independent variable, only one independent variable. But PDS, partial differential equations, involves partial derivatives with respect to multiple variables. So, and here we come to the most fundamental difference between ODS and PDS, uh, which is the domain of a definition. I mean, where is this function defined? In the ODS, can only be defined on a strange line, or you can think of it as a time axis, for example. Starts that sometimes maybe zero, goes to some other times like t, and all this action happens on the segment. But on the PDS, here we have an entire domain of definition. And in the case of square, so, if these things change in a term of complexity, change dramatically, this depends on the shape. It's one of the most difficult and intriguing aspects of PDS. It will be called the boundary conditions. But in the ODS, we don't really have a boundary condition because there is no boundary. It will be called the initial conditions. And to specify the domain in the case of ODS, uh, you just have to say where it starts and where it stopped because it's just one parameter only. But in the PDS, there is, if you go to dynamic problems, that not only are the boundary conditions, that may depend on time, but also initial conditions, where is your start similar to ODS. So, it's not only boundary conditions, but initial conditions as well. And in the ODS, initial conditions are kind of an um, afterthought because you can kind of typically solve this equation in such a way that you solve it for 
all possible initial conditions. You, so you'll have some undetermined constant there, like um, C1 and C2. So you will solve it for all possible initial conditions. So that solution satisfies the initial conditions. And that's called the general solution for ordinary differential equations. But, and the general solution for PDAs, partial differential equations, that don't even exist as a concept. So you can't even begin to talk about it. Okay, let's move on. And there are four kinds of differential equations that you need to be able to identify them and solve them. Right. And first is linear, second one is separable, third one is homogeneous, and the last one is exact. So, let's talk about the first one, linear differential equation. A linear ODS is given to in the form y prime plus p of t times y equals g of t. And this the form of a linear ODS because it has the order of 1 and otherwise the equation said to be non-linear. For example, this equation called the linear ODS. Linear or the ordinary differential equation. Because the highest order there is 1. That's why we call this equation the first order linear equation. But second one is second order nonlinear equation. And we s solve them by using the integrating factor like this. So if we are multiplied the expression by our differential equation, then we are able to find the solution to our ODS. So, the second type is separable ODS. Separable ordinary differential equation has the form like this, n of y times dy over dx plus m of x equals zero. And in other words, we could write that like this. The reason why it's so nice to have this kind of ODS is this is a function of y, this is a function of x, so we are simple, integrate both sides and then we can get easily find our general solution. For example, this type of equation called the separable ordinary differential equation. So the next one is homogeneous differential equation. And the general form of homogeneous equation is like this. If as a function of tx and ty equals t over m times f as a function of x and y. And basically our strategy of solving homogeneous equation is that we are going to do a substitution of y equals v times x. And when we do the substitution we are uh, to easily solve the problem. And we can identify homogeneous equation by adding all the power of the equation and have the same power. For example, there we can show that the x square, the order of 2 there, and the uh, y square, the order the same, and this next one is x times y, and the order of the 2, and that's why we say that this equation is homogeneous differential equation. The last one is exact ordinary differential equation. The general form of exact ordinary differential equation is like this. m as a function of x and y times dx plus n as a uh, function of x and y times dy equals zero. And this differential equation is exact if the partial derivative of m with respect to y equals the partial derivative of n with respect to x equals. So, if this is true, then we, the differential equation is exact. And there is the method of finding the differential equation. And this is the general form, general solution, I mean, of this exact differential equation. For example, and there, 
the partial derivative of m with respect to y is 2x and there the partial derivative of uh, n with respect to x is 2x and 2x equals 2x that means this equation is exact now i like to describe three fundamental example of pds partial differential equation these are examples are and first a wave equation and second one is laplace equation and third one is heat equation the reason for choosing three example is that first of all um, each one describe a very different kind of physical phenomenon and the second reason is that each one is a prototypical example for a large class of the equation and I've written the name of the class of equations right here in the parentheses and the wave equation is prototypical for hyperbolic equation and the Laplace equation is prototypical for elliptic equation and the last one heat equation for parabolic equation I like to introduce the wave equation so the wave equation is utt equals c squared times uxx and there c squared is arbitrary constant and t variable will represent time generally and the x variable will be a special coordinate and the wave equation was first written down by the mathematician d'Alembert in the 1740s and he was studying the vibration of strings so the next one is heat equation now let's look at the heat equation uh, ut equals uxx and the heat equation is one special dimension x is the uh, special coordinate and t represents time as usual as such the heat equation is often written more compactly like this and partial derivative u with respect to x equals del u and Heat equation was first studied by a Fourier around 1800. He was studying heat conduction. So the final example is Laplace equation. This equation is very famous in PDS, partial differential equation. Essentially, it's just a noble operator of phi, um, del squared phi equals zero. And we can rewrite this in this way, uh, this alternative form, and extremely obvious, like this or like this, utt plus uyy equals zero. And uh, the Laplace equation was studied by the Laplace in 1780s. He introduced it as an equation that a gravitational potential sets wise. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, take care.